Good afternoon, everybody. It's three o'clock, Celine's half an hour demonstration. Welcome to, uh, to all of you for another 30 minute uh, with our nice Genome machine software application serger, name it, all the Genome product. So um, my name is Celine Ross and I am an educator for Genome Canada. And Genome America was nice enough to invite me always on Tuesday. And um, well, you know our machine, you know, I'm, I'm beside here. I want you to see inside our machine. This is not a poster and huh? this is real. So I want you to see that inside our Genome machine, it's metal. The frame is metal. So we don't have... I say we like it belongs to me, but it almost belonged to me. Um, it, um, the inside is such a good quality, you know. We have no plastic. And if you see some white parts of something that looks like plastic, it's not plastic. It's a mixture with, I will tell you, resin. But it's a mixture of different um, material to be strong, solid, durable. Durable, durable, okay? And how can we see? How can we? Hi, mommy, you're paid. Huh? I don't know what this means. Hi, mommy, you're paid. Maybe somebody made a mistake and they answer somebody and they, they talk. Uh... Anyway, so, um, uh, <laughs> you know what? I shouldn't read. I always, I'm saying hello to everybody. So, uh, you know, we have expensive machine, but the quality is there. And what proves that, the, that our machines are good quality? The warranty. Huh? So it's not the six months or three months or one year. It's not this. Huh? So we have strong guarantee. Okay. So I want this to be light today. Even light, you know, if it's a, a light project, we still have to work on it. So I think you know that our machine, our embroidery machine and sewing machine can, uh, can, we can use any type of material to go under. Leather, fabric, balsa wood, but not one inch thick, huh? thicknesses, okay? Uh, balsa is thin. Uh, and even cardboard, uh, card stock, card stock. But not anyone, not the one that you put in your printer and you print. It's, um, you know, uh, you make it, you, you can make this, but also you can buy it. It's a cardboard, it's a paper that has fabric in it. Little chip um, of uh, uh, cotton, especially cotton and linen. Okay, Patricia, so looking forward to this. Because I was thinking about how to do... Oh, you see? <laughs> Be careful. I can read in your mind, Patricia. You see? Hello, Janome. Okay. So I said, oh, we're going to do it. Uh, we're going to do this light today. But even this... Um, there's a procedure huh, to work on... on uh, to embroid on... Embroid or decorative stitches on card. Your, your card or cardboard. Why? You know? Well, to do different, you know, Genome makes machine to do different technique. Different technique is trying all sorts of, um, of uh, material to put underneath. So uh, a thread company makes different thread. Stabilizer, they make, they, they make special stabilizer. You know, all this together, we pay our machine and let them work on everything is po everything possible. Okay, so I'll turn the camera and you'll see, um, and I use today, sorry, and today I use just, I prepare my class in the morning. Eh? So I use artistic software and I use our um, embroidery link uh, application. So there's application also for previous model eh, that you can, uh, you can, uh, uh, well, 15,000 came with it, but the certain special. So look on, the, on, the, um, uh, ay, 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 ay. on uh, your tablet, you know, you will find uh, the application. I'll turn the camera. And this is a built-in design. 
but look how big I made it. Okay? And it's not on paper. Huh? It's not on fabric. It's on paper. Sorry. So this was um, a built-in design um, headwork. So when you embroider on car, car, cardboard, oh, oh, okay, this is the cardboard, you see? The thickness of it. So it has fabric in it. You'll see on another piece better after. So what I want to show you here is, well, you cannot use zigzag or dense fabric, dense uh, stitches, because it'll perforate your paper, okay? And I still do not insert this paper between the two, the two, uh, the inside and the outside frame, okay? So, um, uh, just uh, this is the topic today: how to work on this, on this this specialty. It's just really a specialty, uh, uh, not fabric, specialty material. So this is the right side. I'm sorry, I'm gonna turn it over. Oops, I hit everything. Okay, this is the wrong side of oh, my 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 arms are not stretchable. So you see, this is the wrong side. You see how nice it is. So what is in the hoop? It's a special stabilizer in the hoop. See my paper finish right here, all the way around, okay? But it has to stick on something, okay? So this is what I'll show you. Okay, so I said, I'm sorry about the mess behind. So I said, you cannot, you shouldn't use um, dense stitches, dense design. But this one is perfect, okay? Even if it looks dense, but it's not. Look at this. This was, uh, I, you know, I don't remember where I find my stuff. I, I have too much. And after that piece of paper, okay, this is cardboard still. Then when I'm finished, I make sure I stabilize it good with some kind of heavy stabilizer, but sticky. I'll show you. You see? Uh, no, you see? So the name of this was from, um, um, uh, oh, what's the, uh, the company's name is, uh, Made uh, no, not Madeira. Oh, yeah, yeah, another company. And I know, and I know them on top of that. Ay, 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 I hate this. Okay, so I'll find it while I'm talking. And um, it's Decoville, the name of the stabilizer at the back. It's like to reinforce paper, purses, uh, little bags, anything you want to reinforce. It's, it's from Floriani. Bon, I found it. Some from, from Floriani. Okay, so this is moving. So, because it is not dense, I had no problem. You see, it's open stitches, huh? But these, you recognize these design, it's from Red Work. And why will you, why are, uh, do we need to do, do we want to embroider on cardboard? Well, many reasons. You can make your own cards. You can make, uh, you can frame them, huh? You can just try another uh, technique. Uh, I see girls, they play on their um, uh, cell phone. They play uh, Angry Bird, uh, Puzzle, but there's coloring also. So this is not bad, huh? coloring on paper. It's another technique. And also for the kids, if you do some cards for kids and they embroid, this will help them because... The thickness of the thread prevent to to color outside. You see, it's th it is thicker the thread, so that helps them. Also, red work. So why do I have so much? Well, they're built in, but but you'll see after this one is um, with metallic thread. So you see, yeah, we can use. Uh, we can use different techniques. You can try everything. And you see the paper, they're all different, the paper. See, this one has like little dots. This one has lines. 
It depends how they they scrape it after on the screen. Huh? This one is red work, but as is. While this one is same thing, but enlarged with variegated thread. You see, red, variegated, red, variegated, okay? And then this is another one, and you can see the fibers on that one. It looks like um, maybe wool, but it's not wool. It's, it's a lint of fabric, different color of fabric. And you see the same designs with different thread, okay? So, of course, the wording is in French, but, uh, well, I'm in Montreal, huh? okay? So this is just to give you ideas. So how do I proceed? I insert in my frame, in my frame, hold on. I insert this stabilizer and the name is from the, from Madeira, but many companies has the same product or about the same product, but a different uh, name. So from Madeira, the word is cut and fix, and it is like this, okay? So it comes, it's a piece of paper, it comes on a roll, huh? and you see, it's sticky. The sticky stuff is underneath, is in your hoop, and then you remove the top, and this stays on the, in between the two uh, the two hoops, the outside hoop and the inside hoop, okay? And um, and then, well, you do your embroidery. See my, hold on. Whoops, this one is. See, I didn't remove the paper all the way, but the see here it is sticky. You see, okay. And I'll show you what to do when it's finished. Okay, so I prepare something. Oh no, I want to tell you before. Okay, so I said that I'm use, I use many things and the software and the application. So I, I'm sure I showed you previously how with the application I use now with my CM17, I use the application um, uh, embroidery link. Huh? So you look, it was a built-in design, red work, small. We'll, we'll look at it after on the, on the machine. And with the, uh, so with the application on your iPad, I enlarge to the maximum into my, my um, bigger hoop. And I mean the bigger hoop of the CM7, Continental M17. But you know, you can do the same you can do something similar with other machine, huh? like 15,000. Uh, and if you don't have, well, you can use then the artistic digitizer. Okay. So I'll turn the camera. I'm saying hello to everybody. I see people are logging in and they say hello to me. But as usual, I, oh, yo, 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 I'm sorry. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So I prepare something here. And you know, I teach the same thing in French at uh, 2 o'clock. So I start at 2 o'clock and I'm going to finish at 3 o'clock. So part is French and part is English, okay? So what I do is inside the hoop, okay, I insert my paper and I remove the top, which is the, just the paper, and I keep the stabilizer. And... I, I embroid whatever I want. So I use the software to say Joyeux Halloween, which means a happy Halloween. I guess Halloween English and French is the same. Huh? Joyeux means happy. And what I like to do, I like to prepare my machine. I don't want to use my thread cutter. Okay? Because at the back, it's full of hair, full of thread. I don't like that. And then you have to clean it and, oh, no, no, no. So I'd rather cut my thread by hand after. So any Genome machine, you go to your settings, embroidery settings, and we'll turn the page. I like to say, well, I want to, the, my, it's in French. Oh, it's in French, yeah. And you speak English. Aha, okay, okay. I'll come back. 
embroidery, turn the page. So I keep upper thread breakage, uh, breakage self, uh, sensor, of course. Bobbin thread remaining. What is this? It's on. Okay. Thread cutting off. That's one thing I like to do. But what I, I like to do is me. Maybe you would be this different. But I don't like to, to see all those cut, little cut at the back. And then another thing I like to. No, it's the first page. One stitch stop. I like this because at the beginning, I like to pull my lower thread to the, bring it to the top. I have a clean back like you saw on my big samples when everything is done. Okay. And I, I did happy Halloween. Now I'm going to do my pumpkin. Okay. So here. And it's just three minutes. Whoops. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. So, you see, I insert my hoop. Okay. And uh, this time I put variegated thread. So, if I press start, you see, I want to make sure that it's all, all there. All stick, uh, sticky. Okay. One stop. This is what I like. See my two threads? Okay. Let it go. And always low, slow speed. Eh? I'll stop because I want to clip those threads. And keep, let it go. So it's three minutes. So that brings, I'll have the time to tell you. This was, uh, the, that pumpkin was a design from clip art. And I'll show you after on the computer how to bring the clip art and to um, convert that clip art into um, uh, uh, outline, okay? Uh, into a, an embroidery design and outline, sorry. Okay. And what I like also, I like to put the same color of thread underneath. When, if you use white, uh, white paper, gray paper, and you see a different color of thread at the back, different than the top. I don't like it too much, you know. Of course, we're going to cover it, but you want your work perfect from top to bottom, okay? From the beginning to the end. So this is what I, I prefer to use. Um, to use. You see, now it's going to go down, and I don't use my thread cutter because I don't want those little things at the back. So I'll cut it after, you'll see. And I'll remove this from the hoop. So you'll see everything very good, okay? I don't want to go faster. One more minute to embroid. Or uh, maybe I said I don't want it faster, but let's see. Uh, I'm pushing a bit, but she's a genome, so she'll be okay. She'll be okay. And uh, you can use any type of thread, huh? uh, polyester, uh, rayon, uh, cotton, uh, acrylic, uh, you can, but you know, regular thread, not that thick. If you're sure you have just one single stitch, one single line, well, then you can use um, um, a thicker thread, but uh, between... Um, uh, I would say no, no higher than 30, the thickness of the thread. Okay, it's finished. Now I can cut my thread because I know it's finished, okay? I'll remove everything. And you see, well, yes. And I'm going to cut this, my thread. And at the back also, but it is clean already, you know. Okay, so look the back, how clean it is. Oh, I have one here, but this is from previously. I didn't want to clip the thread in between my letters. I clean it just on the top, and I feel this is stronger at the back. Okay, then look how nice I variegated. Plain thread, variegated, or solid thread. And then I'll remove everything. Okay. See how sticky it is? I like that because nothing will move. And it doesn't dirty your hoop, you'll see.
Okay. Do I remove this paper? No. I like to keep it there. It gives strength to my, um, to my embroidery. Okay. I don't want to tear it. You see? So I'm going to, not now, but I'll, I'll cut a little bit, f uh, smaller than my design after and I'll leave it there. Okay. So you see, that's the way it comes. Paper on top of the sticky part. And if, if I was removing everything, I'll have a hole. Huh? So instead of tearing everything, I cover my hole with another piece of that stabilizer. Look. So you keep the same, you keep the same one. Maybe the embroidery won't, will not be at the same place. Okay. Be careful when, how you put your paper into your uh, hoop because sometimes we make a mistake and we, we do the opposite side. Eh? And why do I know? Huh, because I made the mistake. Okay. I'll come back now on the big design. What size of needle? I signed, okay, uh, I didn't talk about the needle, sorry. I'll turn again, sorry, uh, it'll be daisy. Okay, so blue tip, red tip, purple tip, no problem. Me, Celine, okay, I always use Janome needles, okay? I, I don't change, I don't try another company. I have no problem with Janome and I use them all, that's all, okay? So right now I see it's a red one. But if, you, you fa if your paper is, it cannot be thin. But you know, even a thin needle, size 11 on the paper, it'll perforate easier. Okay, because it's thin. Okay. So, my turn. Uh, what size of needle? Okay, I hope I have not more. Can you tell me if I can buy a copy of editor that can... Copy of editor that came... Oh, that I don't know. Um, I, I, you have to, to email Janome, uh, the technic, uh, support, technical support or support technical. And uh, no, I guess it's technical, uh, support. Uh, you can always watch the video again or shut off that. Oh, okay. Maybe I missed something here. No. So a copy of editor. Yeah, I understand what you mean. You, you talk about the software that came with your machine. Uh, it, it'll be, it, you'll be able to download it, but you have to email. It's technical support. Maybe somebody from Janome there can send you the, uh, or after I can reply to you and give you the email address. Okay. I'm talking to Robin. Okay. And then the size of needle, I said, I answer. You can always watch the video. Yes, okay, no problem with watching after. You know, sometimes we don't catch everything right away. Yeah? So you see, so what I will do here, if I turn, no, I want to show you at the same, it's not big here. Okay, this is wrong side. So I will cut my my paper, which, which is cut and fix, cut and fix from Madeira, but like Floriani, it's another word, okay? And they give another name to the st stabilizer. And you see, I use black thread on top and bottom. It's, to me, it looks cleaner. If you want it stiff, maybe you want, you don't want the color, coloring it. Okay, maybe you want it to, you want to keep it this way. Maybe you want to color. Okay, so if you do, well, you, you do your work before you uh, put something stiff, sticky, stiffy, stiffy at the back. So look what I did here. So this one is from Floriani. Like I said, it's Decoville. And the Decoville, they have two thicknesses. And I used the thinner one. And then I'll just have to tear the outside of the frame. You can frame this. You can, um, uh, well, this is to, to be on the wall, huh? Okay. Look, this one here. This one is um, with variegated thread. Okay. So at the back, 
You see, my sticky paper is there. I always leave it there to give strength to my paper on, on top. So I put white thread. While this one is red work, really red work. And I, I know I put white thread. Whoop, I put white thread also. I, I don't like it. I prefer red and red. The same color, top and bobbin. You see how nice? Whoops, 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 whoops. You see how nice is, um, um, I try to fix this, uh, metallic thread. Look how not, how, how the design, it's called uh, doodle, doodling, doodle. Huh? Very nice. And at the back, I have no, you see through, there's no problem. There's no problem, but this is a cutting thread. You know, I, I hate that. I don't like to see this me. This one I put red at the back, red on the top. This is my favorite. You know, in the sewing room, uh, you always want to discover some um, new techniques. The company makes the machines, other company develop techniques, develop thread, develop the stabilizer. And I like to do this. I like to prepare something like this to my little girl. We're about all the same age here. Oh, close. Okay, maybe I'm older than all of you. But, um, you know, I have a granddaughter. And I like to make something for her. And she coloring. And because of the thickness of the thread, she doesn't go outside, outside of the line. So that is something very nice. And then you see, this is a design that was uh, over the internet. So again, I put it, I, I stiff it. Whoops. Whoops. Sorry. I made something very hard at the back and I put it on the wall. Okay. Well, it, it it's all depends. So because you like to do, because we need to do outline on paper. Look what I did here. That's something else that I like to do. You, you know, we don't, we change, huh? we pay our machine to, to explore and to try so many different things. So this one is embroidered on fabric, just outline, and you can color with fabric marker. Okay, so these fabric markers, they have two tips. Well, you, you, I guess you know this, huh? So they have a very thick end, huh? Tip, I should say, and thinner, okay? And you color. But when you finish coloring your fabric, here I can add some sashing in between or some frame. I can incorporate this into a little bag, a cosmetic bag or whatever, okay? And I can give it to my little girl to do some coloring, but then use it. I just don't want to keep it like this. So to make sure the color won't run, when you finish coloring, you have to go at the back, press with steam, steam everything, let it dry. And then when you'll wash it, you won't lose the, the coloring. There's something else also you won't wash your, um, you will not wash your, paper huh? okay so i like this product fabric shield okay it protects the fabric but even this uh, uh, you know you dust it but still okay i like to put it on my you know those sketcher shoes it's fabric huh? i like to put it on um, my sketcher shoes to to keep them clean longer okay so this is my ideas Okay, now we'll come back. We'll come back on the screen, on the machine screen here. Okay, and oops, I will look. I want to show you. I took this design. Okay, and look at the size of it. And when, with the application embroidery link, okay, this design became that design. The full hoop, the full bigger hoop, which is uh, um, 
eight and a half by 11.1. So the biggest hoop on the market, but the result is perfect. Huh? Perfect, perfect. Okay. And another thing I did for the pumpkin, I'll bring my computer. Okay. And I will enlarge this. So for sure you saw, you saw this. So I went to um, tools, okay, uh, clip art, insert clip art, I'm translating. And I said the pumpkin, pum, uh, I hope I make no mistake in front of you. Oops, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, 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 oopsie. Ah, what did I do now? Ah. There's a duck. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, I brought, a, th this was a clip art. I brought the pumpkin and then I select the pumpkin and, whoops, and I said, convert to red work. I didn't show you. Sorry. So convert, uh, let me do undo. Okay, it's very easy, but you can do this with many designs. Okay, when it's there, convert, red work, and I send it to the machine directly to, to be embroidered like this, to embroider it like this. So this time I use variegated thread. You see, it's a little bit uh, dense here, but when I'll cut on my paper, my sticky paper, I will iron, I don't put any uh, steam, huh? because, uh, okay, and if you want, you know, inside, because this is, this will be a card, you still can write, not by hand, it's bumpy, and it's not even, okay, but you can add something else, you know, uh, today I use, just for fun, for a card for Halloween, but let's say it's your birthday, or it's Christmas, or something, and you receive by mail a card that somebody took the time to embroider for you. Well, we're happy, huh? we like this. And you know the do do it yourself is more and more um uh, how should I say more and more popular. So people will appreciate. Or if you do some um uh, you know, in church, they have a bazaar. I, I hope you use the same word as, as us, okay? You can sell your stuff. Well, uh, it's another idea. You know, you're, you're, you're not like everybody. You didn't go to Walmart and uh, buy a, a car, just finish, $2, 3 it's over, you know? You, you show your talent, and uh, people will more appreciate this than, I guess, I hope, <laughs> Walmart card. Okay, so you can always, wear, okay, I see, I always enjoy watching this in video. Oh, few good, okay. So, I hope you learned a few little things. I'll turn the camera, okay. And, um, not too good with all this. Okay, so I hope you learned a few tricks. And it is something different, not usual, but, um, um, uh, what, how do you call that? Uh, you know, you have your big holiday next uh, with the turkey. Like, there's a word for this. So that could be nice. Another card, you know, personal. Th okay, thank you. So um, anyway, I, wash, I wish you all some uh, nice embroidery on cardboard, cardstock. Bye-bye, everybody, and thank you for... Oh, Patricia, I learned a lot. Oh, great. This is the... This is the goal eh, of these 30 minutes to learn. If we teach too much, it's too much to catch. Just a little something, you're, we always catch something. I learn myself, I always learn. Thank you so much for giving us an interesting project. Good, happy Halloween. You too. Bye-bye, everybody. See you next week. Bye-bye.